Okay, can you start by telling us your name? Bill Hertz, H-E-R-T-Z. Okay, and then can you tell us what you brought to the harvest today? I brought some clothing, a hat, uh, a bow tie, I think at least one pin from the sesquicentennial back in 67. Okay, can we start by talking about the dress? You said it was made by your mother. Yeah, it was made by my mom. Um, all I know about it is that it was made by my mother and somewhere on it, I think, or maybe it was the other dress, had the, uh, the date, you know, 1967. Because I think it was for people that, uh, I think they, they probably marched in the parade back then. Okay. okay. I hate to be so vague, but I'm, my memory's really not all that great. Well, that's okay. It seems like you still know a little bit about it. Uh, what made you decide to bring that to the harvest? Well, it's been at the house, our house. My mom passed, I don't know, 15 years ago. And of course, when we cleaned the house out, we brought a lot of the stuff to our place. My brother got some, a lot of it, and it's been there forever. Yeah. And we were gonna throw, we didn't know whether to throw it away or, you know, donate it or whatever. Never s throw stuff like that away. Well, yeah. I, I, I get to the point where I, I go on a clean binge. Yeah. Uh, how does the dress connect to the history of Milton? Well, it was made for the sesquicentennial. Okay. Back in 19, like I said, 1967. And then the hat was also made for the same. Yeah. Hat. Now the hat, of course, I, I think the hat was bought. Um, <clears throat> Robert and I were trying to kind of decipher who actually made the hat. We can't figure that out, but we just I just found out my name is actually mom put mine that's my mom's handwriting. That's oh, where wow. we live. Do you mind since, holding that up so he can yeah, put it on the camera? That's where we live since uh, nineteen fifty six I think we bought the house on Stanton Avenue. Guess she didn't want you to lose it. You have to know my mom. <laughs> And then do you want to talk about the pin and the... Uh, I don't know that much, to be honest with you, I don't know that much about the bow tie. I'm going to be very honest with you there. Um, of course, it was made for the sesquicentennial. Mm -hmm. The pin, the people in Milton, the, the men of Milton, not to sound sexist, but they were all required to grow a beard and a mustache and everything, and they were looks like there's something under that even. I don't want to scrape it off. But it was like a group. Mm -hmm. And you had to grow this. Of course, me being who I am, I couldn't grow a beard and mustache, <laughs> so I got to wear the pin. So they let you wear the pin in replacement? See, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I vaguely remember some of it. I know that, like, everybody was required well, they weren't actually required, but they were asked to, to grow a beard and mustache, you know. Yeah, what was the reason behind that? Well, because it looked like it, like Milton would have looked back in, what, 1817, you know. Okay. Men weren't clean shaven, and I guess that's kind of what it really represented. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's so great that you have these items considering it's the bicentennial this year. Yeah, yeah. It's really interesting. Yeah, I've been around a long time. <laughs> Uh, for folks unfamiliar with Milton that are watching this video, what do these items tell you about your town? In reference to what? I hate to Just sound stupid, but I am. How do, um, how do they help tell the story of Milton? Well, I, th I think um, as probably to refer back to the sesquicentennial. You know, I've lived in Milton all my life. Um, my dad lived in Milton all his life. My grandfather actually had a meat market on Broadway in Milton here. Oh wow, what was that called? Hertz's Meat Market. Okay. And then it became, he died many years ago and um, Don Byerly bought the, the store and he ran it for quite a few years and of course now there's nothing there. So, I mean my family goes back to probably when they immigrated from Germany. Wow, so your family's been in Milton for a long time. Yeah, a long time. Do, yeah. you, do you have any final thoughts for anyone watching this interview? Not really. It's a great place to live. I don't know what else to say. I mean, it, I've lived here all my life. Um, it's a slow pace, you know. 
Yeah. People are pretty honest. <laughs> Life's been good to me here in Milton. 